Fox 8 News is New Orleans most watched news. Fox 8 Local First Morning Edition starts now. Welcome back. If you've been following us online this morning, the coronation of King Charles III has wrapped up. We're now back on TV, obviously. We'll send it over to Hannah Gard because she has been tracking some severe weather uh, throughout the morning. And as Jazz Fest approaches, we want to get on it. Hannah, what can you tell us? Yeah, lots of people are about to head out to the fairgrounds. And if you see behind me, we have some really strong storms that are about to head into the city. Now, right now, we don't have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Orleans Parish. This is including the river parishes right now. Southern Tangipahoa Parish, so just to the east of 55, we're seeing those strongest storms. We also have this severe thunderstorm warning down to the southwest in parts of Terrebonne Parish right now. So we'll take a look at this severe thunderstorm warning to the north first. This is about to move through the city. We don't have a warning out yet, but we're seeing really damaging winds. This has been moving to the east throughout the morning hours. It moved through parts of Baton Rouge. We've gotten 64 mile per hour wind gusts in parts of the river parishes. That's really damaging wind potential. We've seen some wind damage in East Baton Rouge earlier, and we're getting reports of an injury with that. So do not take this lightly. These severe thunderstorms can be very, very damaging. So along the leading edge of this, we'll take a look at velocity because this is tagged for 70 mile per hour winds. It does look like it's a little bit lower than what we were looking at earlier, but back behind that leading edge of storms, we're seeing some 70 mile per hour wind areas over to the west. This is going to continue to move eastward. So Hammond, Ponchatoula, about to see those really damaging winds coming through. And down to the south, this is going to move towards the city. Now the good news, it looks like those highest winds are a bit north of the city right now. And once you get a bit farther to the south, it kind of tapers off a little bit from the magnitude of those winds that we're seeing more so towards the river parishes. Now down to the south, we do have this severe thunderstorm warning we have to look at. This is headed towards Cocodry. Now you're not in the warning right now, but it is headed your direction. We're seeing really large hail with this storm. The tag on this is up to ping pong ball sized hail. So right now it looks like it's pretty small on our indication, but we could be seeing some significant hail headed towards Cocodry through southern uh, Terrebonne Parish as we speak and over the next 30 or so minutes it'll probably make its way over there to Cocodry. So we're watching for this wind field. This is really what I'm concerned about headed towards Covington and Mandeville next. This is about to make its way out of that severe thunderstorm warning and we don't have another one after that. That's leading me to think that the National Weather Service is feeling this kind of falling apart. But even if it falls below that severe thunderstorm threshold, this is 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts that are about to move through the city. And I'll turn on that lightning calendar. I've had it off because it's distracting. We have so much lightning within these storms. This is also headed towards New Orleans. So if you're headed out to the fairgrounds to go to Jazz Fest, I would wait out this storm as it moves through. You don't want to be out there in the open and there's only tents out there to take cover in. So if you're about to head out there, I would wait, just wait it out. This storm system is going to move through. We are going to see rain fall behind that. We have light rain following behind this line, but definitely better to be safe than sorry. I'll take a look at that severe threat for today because this is the first round moving through. By the afternoon, we could get some scattered shower and storm activity where I think we have the potential to see some storms once again. So we have another round coming and that will be in the afternoon. Still looking at large hail, gusty winds. And with all of this rainfall moving through, two to four inches of rain is really going to cause some flooding problems and it's already very saturated out there. So we'll have to watch out for that. Now this severe thunderstorm warning is now including parts of Orleans Parish. So we have a new severe thunderstorm warning and take a look at what's tagged for it. So 930, this severe thunderstorm warning will expire. If you're headed out to Jazz Fest, do not head out the door right now. This is about to make its way through the city. I'll play it out so you can see just how fast this is moving. It's already made its way through the river parishes over the past 30 or so minutes. And the leading edge of this is really where we're concerned about those winds. We have tagged 60 mile per hour radar indicated winds. We were getting 70 confirmed over to the west. So this can produce some really high winds. And then we also have three quarter inch hail that's going to move through. This now includes Jefferson Parish. So Kenner, you're about to get the storm moved through. You're probably starting to see that right now as we speak, the leading edge of these storms starting to push through. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can exactly see where this is right now. Not quite to Metairie yet. We're about to see these storms move through Metairie, Harahan, 
and then it's going to move into uptown new orleans gentilly will start to see those storms so if you're going out to the fairgrounds just listen to me you really do not want to be out there right now we have a lot of lightning that's going to come through standing out in those tents is not going to be safe out on the fairgrounds so wait this is going to move through very very quickly and then you can head out there yes you'll be heading out in the light rain but it's better to head out there than to see that wind we have 60 mile per hour winds tagged with this storm you do not want to be out at the fairgrounds with those types of winds so this is going to make its way into the city here over the next 20 to 30 minutes i'll put a track on that really quick just so we can get some timing going we are going to see let's see this is moving around let's say 30 miles per hour we'll see how fast that's going to go through so if you're at the airport this is pretty much already headed through there kenner you're starting to see those storms metairie uh you have until 902 that's very soon we're about to see that in 10 minutes that that's going to move through um, Lakeview 907 so really we only have 10 to 20 minutes before this is about to move through the fairground so we'll take it back over to Josh yeah lots of people about to head out there I'm sure we might hear from Jazz Fest soon mm -hmm. on if they're planning on delaying or I've been looking and, and now back. you know now that you have said now that you've said the severe the, the severe thunderstorm warning is officially in Orleans Parish and I got that notification again while you were giving that report now we were on we were on the coronation all morning and if you were on there and all of a sudden we're back on air and we're kind of spooking you a little bit with how fast all this is happening just another reason I love to champion the Fox 8 weather app because I've been getting notifications all morning I'm watching lightning creep closer and closer I'm seeing the thunderstorm warnings come up on notifications I'm following the Jazz Fest Twitter as well I, they haven't announced anything yet but I wonder that with this thunderstorm warning officially in Orleans Parish if they're gonna have people on the ground there um, at, at Jazz Fest at the fairgrounds maybe starting to look at things uh, at this point but Hannah I know that this is a fast-moving system lightning hail it's nothing to mess around with. We've seen rainy days at the fairgrounds the past couple of weekends. This is different. This is not yes. just rain. This so. is different than what we saw yesterday. Now, the North Shore, we did see some severe thunderstorm warnings yesterday, but we got lucky in the city. We didn't see any severe thunderstorm warnings. This is a severe thunderstorm warning with winds 60 to 70 miles per hour. You do not want to be outside in those kinds of conditions. So I'll clear this out a bit for you because we now have another severe thunderstorm warning. This one is for the North Shore and it's extended all the way across St. Tammany Parish into parts of southern Mississippi there. It's kind of along the border um, through all of St. Tammany. So this is about to move through Madisonville, Mandeville, Covington. You're about to see these really stormy conditions. Lots of lightning. I keep having to turn off this lightning tracker because it is very distracting from what's happening behind there. But heavy rainfall. We're seeing high rain rates across the area. We can pull that up because that's certainly going to cause concern for flooding. I mean, these are extreme rain rates that are about to make their way into Covington, Madison, Mandeville, and then looking down to the south, we also have those really high rain rates about to move into the city. This is going to be a concern. We've seen some rainfall over the past couple of days. The grounds are very saturated. So we'll watch for that street flooding potential as well in the city and up on the North Shore. But looking over this North Shore severe thunderstorm warning right now, this will expire at 930 as well so this system is moving through really quickly that's in the next 30 minutes that that'll move out but we're really concerned about the wind with these systems we've already gotten reports from East Baton Rouge of some damage that caused minor injuries trees down and trees are one of the main concerns that we have with those winds because we could see power outages and obviously damage to houses homes and people's property you know you don't want to be outside especially when we have a uh, areas with a lot of trees which the North Shore does so this right. is about to move through looking at those winds they're about to head towards Covington Mandeville Madisonville this is about to move into Madisonville right on the edge there this is 50 mile per hour winds indicated on radar so it's going to be really gusty winds we're seeing a lot of lightning very stormy conditions about to move through so severe thunderstorm warnings you still want to try to take those precautions to get to a safe place away from windows in your house and you especially do not want to be heading out to the fairgrounds. That is not what we want you to do. If you're in New Orleans right now, on the West Bank, we're about to see these storms moving through. It hasn't quite made it to the fairgrounds yet. We're probably seeing some light rainfall, and you might be thinking, oh, there's not much happening right now. This wall of rain is what's about to move through that we're very concerned about. So we'll take a look at what's happening with this severe thunderstorm warning. The winds 
It looks like we have a little bit of a split happening with the radar indication here, but we're getting at least 20 mile per hour to 30 mile per hour winds, and the tag on this is up to 60 mile per hour winds headed into the city. We could see three quarter inch hail as well. Right now, hail indication is not great with this area. I don't think that that's the main concern headed into the city. I'm definitely more worried about those winds, especially on the fairgrounds, lots of tents out there. Do not head out there if you're about to go to Jazz Fest. So now I'm going to take a look down to the south because we also have a severe thunderstorm warning in southwestern Terrebonne Parish. This is not including very many areas. This is really out over the marshland right now, but it's going towards Cocodry. So Cocodry is right on the eastern side of this warning, and this big purple splotch where we're starting to get some of those darker colors is indicating to me that there's some really big hail over there. Right now, kind of over the Gulf. It's about to move inland more so. So we're watching for that hail. This is tagged for an inch and a quarter hail. So that's ping pong ball size hail. That's big hail that's going to head towards Cocodry and Dulac and then up the river there in parts of Southern Terrebonne and Lafouche Parish. So that's headed your way. Keep that in mind. That severe thunderstorm warning will expire at 915 and tracking that out where we could see that entering Cocodry. I mean, it's really kind of far away at the moment. But you are going to see this headed your way. Let's see. Cocodry, this will be around 922. So the next 30 minutes or so that we start to see that headed your way. Now we'll go back up to the north because we're kind of getting to that point where people are going to want to head out to Jazz Fest and head out to the fairgrounds. And I'm going to tell you right now, you do not want to do that at this moment. Josh, kind of, we've been talking about the tents out there. Not good shelter. We have a lot of lightning. We're seeing really damaging winds about to move through. We've already had multiple reports in the river parishes of 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts, and that's what's headed in there on the leading edge of these storms. Moving through Metairie right now, uptown, so you see that storm activity. This will be going through the fairgrounds fairly soon. And, and parts of St. John the Baptist Parish, you know, we've seen it kind of passing through those areas. We're getting reports of some power outages, too, and Intergy. I'm looking on the Intergy map right now, um, and I can tell you on the West Bank, south of Laplace, uh, we are seeing some power outages. So we got to say goodbye, but uh, keep up with the Fox 8 weather app as well as Hannah Gard. And uh, on Twitter, we'll give you any updates we can as the severe weather starts to pass through Orleans Parish.